Want to take your creativity to YouTube from your iPad? No worries, it's easy, just a little different than on your iPhone. Head on over to studio.youtube.com. Here on the iPad on your browser like Safari or Chrome, you're gonna get the desktop version, same as you would get on a computer, desktop computer. Here, you're going to, I recommend using this instead of the YouTube Studio app. I'll explain later, but head on over to create, and here you're going to be able to select photo library, take photo or video, or choose files. Choose files is sort of more of a PC Mac approach, which doesn't really work for mobile content creation since everything gets saved to your photo library. So most of the time you're going to be going to the photo library. Here it'll show you images and videos. One of the shortcomings of the YouTube Studio app is that it doesn't let you do files, just in case you're interested. And one of the disadvantages of this uploader is that for some reason iPadOS loves loading circles, which it'll happen regardless. While that video finishes loading up, or whatever it's doing because it still has to upload, I recommend you check out my video on how to screen record on iPad, and even live stream if you're interested. As you can see, it'll be the normal procedure, your title, description, thumbnail, playlists, your stuff that tells you how long it's going to take to finish uploading and processing, your checks for monetization and video elements like end screen, add cards, time of release, etc. It's all in there, just like the normal desktop version. So you just hit save and whatnot. But here's the main reason why I tell you do not have, do not use the YouTube Studio app when creating or uploading videos from your iPad to YouTube. As you can see, I have this app open with Stage Manager on iPad that does watermarks for my clients' pictures. I have a video editor, Video Leap, opened here for my clients' videos. And I can have this video exporting at 4K30, then I can be watermarking the 50 to 100 pictures that I need to watermark for my clients, and I can also be editing some of those main thumbnail images that I need to not watermark but be more precise and specific on. And so all of that happens with the browser that I can switch between tabs and a video can be uploading in the background while also all the other apps are doing their work because you can't leave with the limitation of Stage Manager. I can't leave this window of four windows, this cluster, or it will stop doing its work. Also resizing. YouTube Studio app sucks at resizing. It forces a big, massive resize, and it doesn't let me see when a window changes so I can know that that process, that step is done. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm in World 7 for Richie Rich Labs, and there's a lot of tips and tricks for iOS and iPadOS that I wanna share with you, so stick around, and maybe you'll learn a thing or two. Until next time, sayonara.